Hi everyone, this is Melissa, and I wanted to talk to you a little bit about Cricut Craft Room, which is the new software program that Cricut is coming out with, or Provercraft is coming out with, um, that people will be able to use with any of their Cricut machines, and I love it because I'm going to be able to use it with my Imagine, and there's going to be a number of things that you can do. Now the program's still in beta test, so it's not ready to be used. Um, at a fully functional level, but um, right now I want to use it. I'm not going to cut from it. I'm not going to do anything but kind of get the basic for my layout, the basics for the layout that I have to do today. And the first thing I want to do is pull up the cartridge that I want to work with. Well, first I'm going to give myself a 12 by 12 sheet of paper. And so I'm going to go over here to this little scroll window and I'm going to pick bookmarks. At the beginning of going into Cricut Craft Room, the program asks you what cartridges you have and you can select all of them. That will allow you to have your bookmarks in place so that when you want a cartridge that you have, you click on bookmarks and you'll see them all on this list. So I'm just going to go from um, to George and Basic Shapes and I'm going to pull up a square so that I can make my 12 by 12 sheet of paper. And I'm just going to double click. You can drag. Um, the item from this to your mat or you can double click it and it'll show up. And the other thing I want to do is hit don't weld. I'm automatically going to get hit don't weld because I don't want anything to take up the pattern that's there. And now I'm going to change the size. You can change the size up here. There's width and height and there's this tiny little um, icon in between the two that will allow you to take off the constraints for width and height. If I unclick that, then I can make this a 5 by 7 or any size I want. But I wanted a 12 by 12, so I'm going to leave the constraints on there and click 12. Now my, my square will be a 12, and I can bring it up here. Now one of the things that I might have said wrong, I'm learning this program too, is that when I double clicked I added two images so you either want to single click or drag and drop and so I'm going to bring up my 12 by 12 square here and I want to change the pattern to um, an imagine cartridge pattern now when you change the pattern of an object you need to come over here to these little tabs and click colors and patterns and I'm going to choose the cartridge that I use for my layout Again, this is a layout about myself, and one of the cartridges that I love best, and that probably best fits my personality, is the cartridge that's called Yummy. And I'm going to select this blue kind of checked pattern for my background. I click on it, and it automatically pops up. Now, this is hard to see. I'm only seeing about a third or a quarter of my sheet here. So I'm going to zoom out, and there's a zoom and a zoom out. They're little eyeglasses, and I'm going to click the zoom out so that I can see a little bit more of my papers and my mat. Now I can pretty much see the whole thing. So that's the sheet that I'm going to start with. Now I want to start playing with some patterns and the cartridges that I'm going to work from for the patterns that I wanted to use on my layout is mini monograms. So I'm going to click on mini monograms here. This time I'll drag and drop so that I make sure that I'm not getting two images. I'm going to click shadow first and I want to choose this scallop circle at the bottom and it'll show it when you drag over it, which is really nice because so, sometimes these are small and it's hard to see, but here it'll blow it up so you can actually see the image. And I'm going to cl um, click on the image, hold down, and drag it onto my layout. Now, again, I don't want to weld this image, so I'm going to click Don't Weld. And then I can change the size, but before I change the size, I'm going to go ahead and add a different pattern to this scallop. This is the background scallop, which I chose this pretty brown pattern pattern with the swirls in it. And I'm doing a 12 by 12 layout, so I think a, a good size for that circle is going to be a 10 by 10. So I'm going to type in 10. It automatically, because I have the constraint button on, it automatically makes it a 10 by 10. Now I can drag this image to the center. I have it on Don't Weld, and I want to put an upper layer on this as well. And so I'm going to unclick my shadow button and go grab the original image and pull that up. And again, I don't want to weld it, so I'm going to click Don't Weld. And I'll change the pattern of this too. And I really like this pretty floral pattern. I think this is it. 
and I'm going to increase the size and I'm guessing there's probably a quick way to make this the size that you want it besides putting in the numbers you know when you have a shadow and the, other, the original image um, in the Gypsy and in other programs they come up it's the same size it's the size that you want and the Imagine does that as well um, but I'm not sure if this program can't can or can't but I haven't figured it out yet just because I just started playing with this program so there now I kinda have the background and the basic to my layout and at this point I can add some elements that I want to and I'm gonna work from the Imagine cartridge so if you come back down here to the filter you can click Imagine cartridges I'm working from the yummy I know that's last on the list and I click that and then I have all these different images that I can work with here now the image that I want to work with is um, some of the coffee cup images and such as this one and again you can see it when you drag your mouse over it and again I'll drag and click I don't want to weld it if you weld it you lose your pattern and then I'm going to increase the size and from here you can do all kinds of things with this coffee cup I can angle it the way I want I can also edit the group if I edit the group you automatically go into a new screen and under this new screen I can separate all the layers of the coffee cup so that I can cut those out separately and then once they're edited you can exit and it'll have them wherever you want them now in all actuality I wouldn't want these separated unless I was going to put them on a new mat and cut them out but this just gives you an idea of what you can do with images once you have them on the layout so I can change the size and then I can move move it to where I think it's going to look pretty I can add another cartridge by clicking on images it brings up this screen or you can do overlay whichever you think is easiest to work in it gives you that option I'm going to bring up another coffee cup I'm going to change the size I'm going to rotate it and this is going to give me a good idea of what my layout is going to look like before I even cut anything out one of the things that's difficult about the Imagine is that sometimes you have so many different pattern papers that you're working from that you cut all these images out and then you try to put them together and it doesn't look good but Cricut Craft Room is going to allow you to see all your things together before you actually cut them out so you you use less paper and you spend less time trying to match patterns that are too busy for each other so I suggest that you try and get into this program if you can test it if you have problems let Provocraft know you can click the help feedback hit feedback fill out the form that pops up let them know the problems that you're having they're trying to work on it before it actually goes you know um, out for everyone to use on a full basis and it's also going to be free and it works with any Provercraft cutting machines that you might have so get on and test it out and tell them what you think thanks